Hey guys, welcome to Starting Out Solitary. I'm your Thursday host, Michelle, and this week's topic is herbalism. Herbalism has been something I've always been interested in. I've always liked learning about different herbs and natural things as far as natural remedies are concerned and using herbs not only for magical reasons but for you know health and well-being reasons and you know when you think of herbs and herbalism in a pagan practice most people think about you know their magical properties and you know what you can do with them magically but that you can also use all these herbs for medicinal reasons and I mean you could do so much with just a few basic herbs like you can make fusions or teas you can make tinctures you can make um, poultices you can make uh, or, or balms you can make so many different things that can help benefit you uh, in your health or to help you know alleviate certain symptoms you're having like maybe you have a cold or you're having a sore throat or cough congestion whatever and when it comes to herbalism, don't always just think of, you know, the actual herb itself. This also goes into essential oils because essential oils are like the concentrated version of a particular herb. And there are certain things that I use on the regular uh, just for mundane reasons or for health reasons. Like I will make teas or I will make uh, herbal infusions for certain things. Um, there's a, I have a certain mixture like we keep in our bathroom that's, um, it's a, in a little like one dram bottle and it's vitamin E oil, tea tree oil, and a little bit of rosemary. And that's good for like, you know, pimples or, or whatever, bumps, cysts, stuff like that. It's even good for cuts and scrapes. It helps them heal way faster than using like, uh, neosporin or something like that, like that has a bunch of chemicals in it. But when it comes to getting into herbalism, it can be really daunting. It can be like, you know, where do I begin? What do I, you know, start? Because there's, you know, hundreds and or thousands of different herbs th that you can, you know, start working with. And my suggestion would be, when it comes to magical reasons, kind of what I did when I started getting into herbs for magical purposes, is think about five to ten of the most major correspondences you use in your magical practice such as protection such as cleansing uh, prosperity love friendship well-being um, things like that think of the correspondences and think of the things that you do most or use most in your practice and then find a corresponding herb to go with that correspondence you see what I'm saying like uh, for cleansing or for um, healing, I would choose rosemary. So rosemary would be one of the herbs, and it's one of my favorite herbs, and one of the ones I started with is rosemary. For and even for healing, I use rosemary, sage, things like that. Um, lavender, I would use for um, love or peace, calm, healing. And you'll notice there's a lot of herbs that you can use for many different things. So you don't need to start out with a lot. I mean, you could start out with, you know, five to ten herbs. And if you, you know, do a little research and get the, you know, right combination, you can use those five to ten herbs for hundreds of different uses when it comes to magic. Um, as using herbs medicinally or using them uh, for healing or, or, you know, actually putting them in or on your body, Think of the things that you most often might need them for. Like I said, I keep that, you know, little one dram bottle in our bathroom and everyone uses it and they love it um, for something that we all get. We all get little bumps and spots and things like that and even for cuts and scrapes. Um, if you tend to get uh, sore throats or if you tend to get a little raspy, find, you know, do some research and find an herb or herbs that you can use for that to make a tea out of or, or something like that. So think of the things that you might need them for the most and then 
find the herbs that go along with what you need them for. You see what I'm saying? That's the easiest way, in my opinion, to start getting into herbs and herbalism is to, you know, think of what you will need them for the most and then find the herbs from that. Um, if you're going to be doing a lot of, like I said, protection magic, find an herb that's like a well-rounded herb for protection that you might be able to use for something else. Um, if you think you're going to be doing a lot of cleansing magic, find a good cleansing herb, do some research, find a good cleansing herb that also can be used for other purposes. You see what I'm saying? So, um, and that goes for any other purpose you have, you know, even if you think you're going to be doing a lot of cursing or hexing, find herbs that go along with that that might be well-rounded that you could use for a few other things. You know, basically just when you're starting out, don't try and learn about all of them all at once. You'll just overwhelm yourself. Like, pick five to ten herbs or and just learn about them, you know. Either start growing them or... Uh, you know, buy them and, and get to know them and use them and just get hands on with them and get to know them and their properties and you know, once you feel comfortable using those you know, five or six particular herbs, branch out from there. Expand your, you know, repertoire of herbs from there and it really isn't all that daunting if you start small and just start with a few and go from there and that's pretty much what I did. I only keep um, I don't keep this big giant plethora of herbs because A, they go bad, and B, you know, I like to use the herbs I have for multiple reasons. So I don't really need a whole ton of different things. You know, I probably have, I can't even, it's on, back there, I have a whole shelf full, but I don't even keep large quantities. Like, I only keep these little mason jars, like half a mason jar size, like a half a pint, or I don't know what it is. But I only keep small quantities, A, to keep them fresh, and B, because um, I don't want them to go bad, and I only have, you know, a certain amount of storage space, and I, the herbs I do have, I make sure that when I purchase them or when I decide to get a new herb to add to my collection, I make sure that it's something that I'm going to use and that can be used for multiple reasons. Like, if I'm going out to find something for a particular purpose or I have a spell I need to do for a particular reason and I don't have an herb that can correspond with what I'm going to do, I will go get, you know, said new herb, or I will go look into getting the new herb and then find out, okay, what else can, how else can this benefit me? What else can I use this for? Is this something that, you know, only has, you know, one or two different correspondences? Is this something that, you know, is very, you know, narrow as far as what I can use it for? And if so, then I'll branch out and start looking for other herbs that I can substitute it for that might have a wider variety of uses. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I don't carry so many herbs. I might have, I think I have like maybe 20, 25 different herbs and that's nothing compared to what's out there. There are some people that have hundreds of different herbs and um, I like to keep my inventory small because I like to be able to use them for a variety of reasons. There's no reason to have this big closet or bookshelf full of big giant bottles of herbs unless you're that active in that you know, you use them that much, um, or you're making, like, tinctures or salves or uh, infusions for your whole family or for other people. I'm only making them for me and my daughter, and that's it. So I, I only need to keep a small variety, but the point to this whole ramble is start small, don't be intimidated, and, um, like I said, just go from there and just start working with a couple, and it, um, it won't be as daunting of a task because when I started first getting into it I'm like oh my god there's just so many herbs I don't even know where to begin but like I said I just stopped and I was like alright what do I really what do I really want to do what do I really need you know what's the focus here and you know the first order of business back then for me was cleansing and protection so those are the types of things I I looked at first and I, I really love my herbs and if I can make a you know tincture or infusion or tea or whatever out of what I have here to cure an ailment or help me you know with something physical um, to help heal something I'll do that and um, there's a plethora of different books out there that you can you know reference and learn a lot of this stuff from which I will list below because it's too many to sit here and ramble on about but I will list them below in case you're interested in 
reading more about like basics of herbalism or herbalism 101 type things or or interested in different reference books as far as herbs are concerned. Anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful and I hope you guys are having a great week. Blessed be.